All right, speed drills. This way you get more comfortable going from the barred open E5 chord to the other power chords. So even if you find a way that you feel playing the E5 chord is a little bit easier, I want you to still stick with doing the bar. And a bar is just when you lay your finger across multiple strings at the same time on the same fret. I want you to get used to this because it is a good skill to have. All right, so I'll demo this at different speeds. 60, one, two, three, four. So you may have noticed I was adding one finger at a time as I was getting to the higher power chords. That is totally fine to do, and sometimes it makes it easier to play arpeggios that way. 80 beats per minute, one, two, three, four. Hundred. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Twenty. One, two, three, four. One forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. And one more to one hundred sixty. One, two, one, two, three, four. So remember, the demo here <clears throat> going up in 20s is just for demonstration speeds, so you can check with what you're doing along with mine. I still want you to go up in no more than 5 beat per minute increments. Anytime it's a speed drill, never go up any faster than 5 beat per minute. 5 beats per minute. I made the wrong word plural the first time. Alright, 60 beats per minute for number 2. Speed drill again, focusing on the descending, descending stuff. All right, one, and go ahead and just do all downstrokes right now to simplify. One, two, three, four. Eighty. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And twenty. One, two, three, four. One forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. One sixty. One. Two, one, two, three, four. Okay. If you would like any other speed demos, just let me know. All right, number three. Getting back to our rhythm work. Coming in on the upbeat of one. One, two. Wait a minute. I don't have it completely on screen. Uh, yeah, yes, and remember to let this chord ring out across the downbeat of one when you do the repeat. One, two, three, four, and two, three, four, and, 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 and two, three, Four and 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 uh, one twenty. One, two, three, four and two, three, four and 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 and two, three, four and. Two, three, four, and and two, three, four, and and two, three, four, and done. 
number four, combining the last four rhythms. So if you need to, just practice counting the rhythm with the metronome to get used to that before you apply the chords. I think it would be easiest for you. Definitely just work it up without the repeat first. And get comfortable with that and then add in the repeat just to make things easier in learning it. So here it is, 60 beats per minute. One, two, <clears throat> three, four. One, two, and, and four. One, and three, four. One, two, three, and, and, and two, three, four, and one. Two, and, and four. One, and, and three, four. One, two, three, and, and, and two, three, four, and done. So for these chords that start on the A string, I have my thumb up over the top of the guitar, so this one my thumb is barely touching the low E string, and that mutes it out. If you can't get your thumb over the top, you can use your index finger to be up underneath that low E string, and that will also mute it out. All right, 120 beats per minute. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one. Alright, and then with the note naming stuff, big thing to remember is B and C are a half step apart or one fret apart. E and F are a half step apart or one fret apart. Everything else is a whole step apart or two frets apart. So once you get your notes labeled, go ahead and send it over and I'll let you know how it looks and we'll take it from there. And if any questions come up, please let me know. I'll see you next week.